So a few weeks ago, I received the YouTube silver play button for reaching 100,000 subscribers, which is super cool, super grateful. Uh, only something that like 0.5% of creators get one of these. So it's crazy that I'm in like this top 1% of creators. So super cool that I have one of these. But instead of doing a regular YouTube play button video that you see on YouTube when people get these, I wanted to instead talk about something that I don't think a lot of creators talk about, which is happiness and how it plays with, with, with all of this. Because uh, my story, literally in April of 2020, I was pushing carts at a hardware store. I was living paycheck to paycheck. I had found out like a month ago that my wife was having a baby. So I was going to have a new huge responsibility in my life. And at that moment, I was like, I'm going to take YouTube seriously. I'm going to try and make like at least an extra $500 a month. If I could just do that, it'll help us increase like our food budget, pay for diapers, different things like that. I can maybe actually get health insurance for myself, possibly. That'd be nice. And then literally two years from that point, I reach 100,000 subscribers, get this play button. I'm making like $4,000 a month from YouTube. In a few days, I'm actually quitting my job to pursue this full time. So I'm gonna have, you know, this whole, whole entire lifestyle change where I get to do what I want. I get to buy what I want. I have this endless opportunity because I get to make videos and make money from that and don't even have to work a regular job anymore. And I think a lot of people look at that and they look at the success and if, if you just do a Google search, you'll see the top job kids want to be as a YouTuber or an influencer and they're like, man, if I could just have that life of just making videos for the rest of my life, I'd be so happy. I'd be so fulfilled if I could just do that and I'd be able to buy stuff and get free stuff from, from companies. Well, hi, I'm uh, someone here on the other side with the YouTube play button. I was able to buy whatever I wanted. I was able to buy the $3,000 computer, the $3,000 camera, whatever gear I wanted, I could just buy because I had that money to spend from making money on YouTube. And now I'm entering the point where I can just make videos all day long and do this full time and take off whenever I want and vacation whenever I want and have all this freedom. But do not look at this career or this opportunity to make money just doing videos and doing something you love. Do not look at that as the pathway to happiness. Do not put happiness on this stuff because just because you get to do something that you love does not make you happy. Just because you get everything you want, all the possessions and cameras and computers that you want does not make you happy. Just because you have a ton of money in the bank does not equate to happiness. The famous actor Jim Carrey said this, and I wanna read it for you just because it's a quote that stuck with me throughout all of this creator journey, is, I think everybody should get rich and famous and do everything they ever dreamed of so they can see that it's not the answer. And then one more quote, this is actually from thousands of years ago by Epictetus. He said, people whom such things are still denied come to imagine that everything good will be theirs if they only could acquire them. Then they get them and their longing is unchanged, their anxiety is unchanged, their disgust is no less, and they still long for whatever is lacking. Freedom is not achieved by satisfying desire, but by eliminating it. And I think both of those kind of go really hand in hand with what I'm trying to say in this video, which is like, you can achieve all these things and you can have all your goals. You can get the cool car. You can get the cool equipment. You can have the best job in the entire world, but that doesn't equate to happiness. That is not the answer. You'll get all those things and you'll find, oh, I still have relationship problems. I still get into bad moods and have bad days. Oh, I don't have this sense of peace and fulfillment now and I just am super happy and content now with everything. Like right now, I feel the exact same amount of happiness as I did when I was pushing carts for that hardware store living paycheck to paycheck. The only difference is that I have a few more toys that are kind of cool, but you know, the desire's already worn off of those, so they're not super special anymore because that disappears in like a week or two. And then, you know, I've got a few more followers now on social media and there's just some more money in my bank account sitting there. Um, and that's it, that's it. Like money is nice. Money takes care of money problems. So I have like some less financial anxiety because I have money in the bank account, but that doesn't affect 
my, my mental state, it doesn't affect my happiness, it does nothing for that. In true freedom, True freedom is not achieved by satisfying desires. It is not achieved by getting everything you want. It's by eliminating desires. It is about being content with what you have. Happiness is not getting everything you want. Happiness is wanting everything you get. So instead of, I need this, I need this, it's more of, I'm okay with this. I love my fate. I love whatever happens to me. I, I, I like to think in my head that like, I'm just, I'm just in a movie. I'm just in a show. And whatever happens just makes the story more interesting and exciting. And I'm okay with that. Or I try to be okay with that. I'm not perfect at just being Mr. Content over here. But instead of, I need to achieve all these things in order to be happy, it's, I'm okay where I am. I am grateful that I am alive and that I'm breathing. And even if I'm doing a job like pushing carts in the hot sun, that's okay. Cause I'm alive and I'm sure there are plenty of other people in worse situations than me. Sorry, but another quote, just cause I, I, I'm obsessed with quotes. This is from Socrates. Uh, if all our misfortunes were laid in one common heap, whence everyone must take an equal portion, most people would be content to take their own and depart. There are so many people with worse things happening to them and misfortunes than me. And I'm just grateful that I'm alive, that I live in America, that I can make an income for my family and, and, and even have access to a cell phone, having access to the internet, that I don't have any like serious health problems going on. There, there's probably so many things I could list that I'm grateful for where I don't need more and I can be content with what I have. And I'm not saying don't have any goals and don't pursue anything. Um, what I am trying to say though is don't equate those things to happiness. This, as cool as this is and how awesome that it is that like I can look at myself and think that I'm in like this top 1% of creators who've done something like this. This is not happiness. And getting that kind of success and getting all the possessions that you want is not going to create happiness in your life. You might get a high from it and it might be cool. It's cool that I have a fancy camera. It's cool that I have a fancy computer and that I have all this gear that I want. The fact that I can buy like AirPods Max and I'm not broke and I can like actually afford like a higher quality expensive item. That's awesome, but that doesn't make me happy. So what I'm trying to say to wrap it all up here is focus on gratitude and contentment because that is what leads to happiness. When it rains outside, someone looks at the rain and is like, man, this is horrible, rain is bad, it ruined my day, I can't go outside. To someone else, they look at the rain and they're like, oh, it's gonna water my, 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 my garden. I am happy that it's raining. Now the rain itself is neither good nor evil, but it's the mindset you have towards that rain that determines whether it's good or bad. So, Focus on your mindset towards the world around you, where it's nothing necessarily is good or bad. It is our mindset that affects whether something is good or bad. We, we, we attribute those things, uh, attribute those things that are going on, whether they are good or bad. Now I'm actually gonna leave a link to a video down below that's really helped me kind of grasp this, this uh, understanding of happiness and contentment. Um, that was really helpful for me and I had to watch it a whole bunch of times. So I'll have it linked down below if you want to check that out. Um, and yeah, that, that's all I really wanted to say in this video. So thanks for listening.